Well, 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 it turns out Candace Owens had a very good reason to defend Kanye West, even after he said something that was indefensible. Kanye West, as we learned today, is buying Parler. The New York Times explains the service's parent company, Parliament Technology, said on Monday that Mr. West, who now goes by Ye, would help Parler continue the fight against censorship, cancel culture, and authoritarianism. The announcement, a little over a week after Twitter and Instagram restricted Ye's accounts in response to anti-Semitic remarks that he posted, did not disclose financial details. In a world where conservative opinions are considered to be controversial, we have to make sure we have the right to freely express ourselves, Ye said in a statement, released by parliament okay interesting it makes sense he was banned from twitter and instagram for saying something that was blatantly anti-semitic so of course he's rich enough to buy his own social media platform where he can guarantee that he won't be banned so where does candace owens come in well i'm sure that you've heard by now but the ceo of parlor is owned by george farmer who happens to be the husband of candace owens now, Parler is also a platform that is dying. As the New York Times explains, data.ai, which monitors App Store activity, estimated that Parler downloads across Apple's iOS platform and Google Play dropped to 21,000 in the third quarter of the year from 58,000 in the first quarter. Twitter, by comparison, had 4.5 million downloads in the third quarter, down from 5.2 million. Data.ai estimated that Parler had 706,000 monthly average users in the middle of the year compared with an estimated 2.8 million iphone users on truth social so hear me out for a second if you convince kanye west as his friend that what he's saying isn't necessarily anti-semitic maybe it just doesn't make sense perhaps he wasn't as eloquent in explaining his thoughts and you instruct him to uh, realize that this is censorship and perhaps he can do something about it with the vast amount of wealth that he has well now you kind of understand why someone like Candace Owens would defend Kanye West, even when people like her own boss, Ben Shapiro, denounced what he said as anti-Semitism, because she absolutely benefits from Kanye West buying her husband's company. And her husband on Fox Business also defended Kanye West because he doesn't want to make it seem as if Kanye West said anything bad. Really, this is about free speech. And, you know, it's very, very good that Kanye West takes matters into his own hands, takes free speech into his own hands, and purchases his dying company. Take a look at what he had to say on Fox Business. But I wonder what you think about what Kanye West was tweeting about last week. Of course, it unnerved many people when he ta started talking about the Jewish community. Some say it was anti-Semitic. What are your thoughts? Look, I think, uh, you know, he actually said yesterday in his uh podcast interview um from miami at the drinks champ one that uh, that that was a mistake and um i think that that's important to highlight uh, the 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 tweet that he put out last week as far as i could understand it was an incorrect reference to defcon um obviously worded very badly and 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 i think that that was as he said yesterday a mistake he he's obviously willing to have a conversations that plenty of people want to have. And, and I think he's trying to engage in, in the free speech environment. Um, specific comments about his personal opinions, I obviously can't comment because I'm not him. Uh, but I would like to say that he's now in a place where he's fallen victim to the cancellation narrative. Um, whether or not what he said offended some people, of course, is up for conversation. But in, in all worlds, the only cure for for wrong ideas is is more ideas. It's it's more speech, not less speech, right? And so censorship in any format is never a good thing. And this is what we and he agree on. Um, and we have been very excited to work with him on putting this deal together. Listen, some people might claim that Kanye West made anti-Semitic remarks, but really, I'm just happy that he's engaging in the marketplace of ideas. And you can't engage in the marketplace of ideas if you're being censored by big tech. So in order to avoid being censored by big tech, maybe you purchase my dying website and then you never have to worry about this again. Very clever, very insidious. Seems like they may be taking advantage of Kanye West here. I can't prove that. Maybe this is all a coincidence, but I mean, the relationship between Kanye West and Candace Owens has always been a little bit bizarre. He very clearly looks up to her. She's a very influential right wing propagandist. And now it's benefiting. It's paying off literally for Candace Owens to have this relationship 
with Kanye West, aside from the clout aspect. But Farmer mentioned uh, the Drink Champs podcast that Kanye West was on, and he made it seem as if Kanye West atoned for the anti-Semitic things that he said. Ask yourself this question. After the host of that podcast apologized for airing the interview with Kanye West, Kanye West then said what we're about to see. Does it really sound like he's apologetic about his anti-Semitic remarks? I watched the George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two roommates said was, they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. All right, I want to be careful with this subject because... Wait a second, but tell me, mm -hmm. could you even really run this interview? Because Mav yeah. didn't run my interview. Right. You know what I'm saying? They blocked me out. The Jewish media blocked me out. Yeah, I'm sure that he's deeply apologetic about his anti-Semitic tweet. Deeply, deeply saddened by that. Now notice how he cited a propaganda film by Candace Owens in that same video. And now Kanye West is supposedly going to have dinner with Donald Trump, where he'll convince Trump to join a parlor, I guess. Ask yourself this question, Kanye. Why would Trump join Parler, a dying social media platform, when he has his own that's currently doing pretty well? Like, you know, Truth Social wasn't doing great at first, but the numbers have increased now that Trump has been using the platform more frequently. Why would he join a competing platform when he has his own? Makes no sense, right? Parlor is dying. If less people use it, everyone has a disincentive from using that app. Why would they use that? Because of you? It just, it feels like Candace Owens is exploiting Kanye West. Now, having said that, though, I'm not going to infantilize Kanye West and strip him of agency. Is he mentally ill? Yes, and that's sad. However, this is a grown man with lots and lots of money. So he gets to choose who he associates with, and he's associating, associating with someone who's just a grifter. Like when Trump was running for president, Candace Owens was anti-Trump. So she's just saying what she needs to to make money and further her own career. So it's not necessarily that absurd and unrealistic to think that she may be using Kanye West to get him to purchase her husband's dying company. Because why would you stay with the ship and go down with it when you can make a little bit of cash off of it? Now, look, who knows? We don't have the details, so this may just be conjecture by me. Maybe he's buying it for like $20. Kanye West has been entrenched in right-wing circles now for years. So they got him to believe that he was censored, even though if anyone posted what he posted, we know that that would get deleted immediately, right? So in order to, I guess, engage in the marketplace of ideas, you have to own your own social media website. It, it just It's all very stupid, but I, I actually don't care that much if kanye west wants to spend his money on a dying social media website have at it it's not going to stop people from using truth social they're not going to switch over to parlor because of kanye west i mean what is the overlap of kanye west fans who enjoy his music and conservatives who would jump ship over to parlor and abandon trump's truth social it just doesn't seem like a very large demographic right i'm sure that the application will have like a bigger a uh, bump because of Kanye West, but overall, I don't think that he's going to save it. Like, do conservatives actually value what Kanye West says because they appreciate his art and his music? No, they're they're just they're cheering him on because he's saying the propagandistic things that was peddled to him by right wing propagandists like Candace Owens, who are constantly in his ear. So they're using him as a tool. They don't actually care about what he has to say. They don't respect him, but yet he's happy to be their useful idiot. He's a grown man, so if he wants to waste his money on this, have at it. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started shilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.